Hey everybody, this is Steve Mackley, Click Click Academy, MasterDamage.com. I was working on some files for our client this evening and uh, wanted to show you a new template that we're just kind of introducing. I'm going to have it available for download, instant download if you want. But uh, this is originally what I came up with um, a little while ago. We kind of put this background in. It's They're all on separate layers but uh, it just kind of had some different designs and stuff in this and so but anyway I wasn't really liking so this is the one that we did a while ago um, but this one I was doing tonight and so let's we can just get rid of this other one but let's just concentrate on this and I wasn't really liking the tonality that the background had see this is the straight background and so I was wanting to change the tonality. So I was going to show you how I go about kind of matching images and things like that. So what I would probably do right here is, because I, I like the two-tone effect of this, this base image right here. And this, Im this uh, bottom image uh, right there just kind of bleeds into, you can kind of see if I, I get rid of my mask right there, um, you know, that it just bleeds into this other part. And so I want that to match the tonality of this base image. And then I can have these bottom images float up above this. But let's just talk about uh, what I would do with this. And so I get the tonality to, to match a little bit. That's, what I do is put a gradient map in here. And what you can do with a gradient map, it kind of shows kind of funky colors right now. But you could actually go in and choose what colors you want it to be to start with. And so... If we click on this little icon right here down at the bottom right of this little dialog box, you can actually go in and pick what color you want that to be. And let me, uh, choosing my Wacom tablet, let me use my, there we go. If I double click that, it brings up the color picker dialog and I can pull in that color. Actually, if I was on the right layer, let's cancel out of this. It always happens in tutorials. Let me be click highlight on that layer, and then this gradient map will allow me to do that. Okay, so we're double clicking to get this to change the color from black and white. And we could choose other colors in here, but we don't. You know, we don't want to do that. What we want to do is choose our own custom color. So we double click on that layer right there, and we can define what we want that color to be. And then I love the blue in there, so I can actually pick that blue color. Okay. Now to finalize this, um, let me remember exactly what I did. I think I chose, I think it was lighten mode. Yeah, there we go. So what that, uh, I put that gradient map, and then instead of on normal, I put it uh, lighten mode for the, the, the layer mode of this particular thing and you can see what that looks like now I think when I finally presented this to our client I kinda wanted to burn in the edges of this and so what I would do I just pick get a new layer um, and then just get a pick a, a gradient a gradient uh, tool have uh, my default color be my foreground so it goes from black to transparent and the opacity on this I kinda wanna build up on this and so what I would actually do with that is I would just kinda drag and drop this in the background here kinda just build this up burn in these edges so it kinda brings the customers eyes into the image um, sometimes I even play with these gradient layers and I'll kind of do like a soft light. See what, we can get that build up of that color. Change the 60% opacity. I might get a little bit more darkness in here. Yeah, see I'm liking, I like the texture back there. There we go. So that's how I present this to our client. And you can see before and after um, what that looks like. 
It just has a little bit, uh, matches the tonality of this a little bit. So hope that helps you. And thanks for tuning in, and we'll uh, see you on our next tutorials.